What's good mga kakila? It's your boy C. Genesis back at it again with another video. In today's video, we're not gonna be in my room because I just injured my Achilles. I ruptured my Achilles. So it's pretty hard for me to set up inside or inside my room. So I'll be here in the living room for now. And yeah, in today's video, we got another sneaker from Jordan brand. It's a Jordan 7 low and it's Jordan 7 bright concrete. This Bright Concord was actually released back in 2018 with two more pairs of Jordan 7 Low. One is the Bordeaux and also one is the Taxi. I actually found this pair in a Nike outlet here in Hong Kong for like $7.99 and additional 30% off. So I got it for like $545, $540, something like that. And that is a steal for this Retro Jordan 7 Lows. This originally cost 1,299 HKD, which is 140 US dollars. And getting it nearly 60 to 70% off is a steal. I'm so happy with this cop. This Jordan 7s are actually the first Jordan 7s to be released in a low cut version. The Jordan 7 is also made famous by the legendary cartoon Bugs Bunny, who was featured in many of the Jordan 7 commercials or Jordan commercials. Especially when Bugs Bunny had his own animated Jordan 7 sneaker. Of course you know, this means war. Air Jordan and Air Jordan. What'd you expect? You are my friend? Amongst the three Jordan 7 lows, I think the Bright Concord is my favorite color red. So let's go over this sneaker. In the upper, you have that purplish blue color new buck material and of course you have that Jordan 7 layerings those stitchings which I think is very nice stitching good quality stitching here small preparations here small circles for ventilation as we go at the back you have that legendary logo the Jordan 7 logo as you can see that's a 7 which represents the seventh sneaker of Michael Jordan that 7 is in a minty green color and you have that 23 in a bluish purple color and the outer lining is your maroon color and here you have that pull tab here And as you can see here in the inside booty, it's actually inspired by the Nike Hirachis. So if you have a Nike Hirachi, you'll really see the similarity of this, the inside booty with the Jordan 7 and the Hirachis. Here in the tongue, you have that influenced Western African tribal patterns where Thinker Hatfield saw in a shop in Portland. So he got the idea and he managed to put it here in the tongue to represent the African tribal patterns. And of course, you have that Jordan Air written here in the tongue right here. There you go. And as you can see here in the upper, you have that maroon or red color mesh. And as for the laces, you also have that same color from the upper, a bluish purple. And the lace tip is actually pretty nice. It's not your cheap plastic lace lips unlike the Jordan 7 highs. Going down the midsole, it's mainly black midsole and of course, you guys might be familiar with this color, the purple, blue and the purplish blue and the red. This really reminds you of that Jordan 7 Raptors colorway. Same thing with the Jordan 7 Taxi Lows that was inspired by the Cardinals and of course the Bordeaux is basically just the Bordeaux. Going down the outsole, you have that classic Jordan 7 traction pattern, the small circles, mainly in black with pops of yellow, mint green, and red. There you go.
all in all, this is one of my favorite pickups because getting it below retail with very decent quality Nubuck and having it in low top is a plus for me. I prefer some of the Jordans to be low tops for me than the original high tops or mid tops. I'm definitely wearing this a lot in summer, you know, just white socks or black socks with shorts. That's gonna be my gem with this one. I will not be playing basketball with these, you know. I would rather play with the Jordan 10s or Jordan 13, 14s rather than the Jordan 7 lows or the, or the Jordan 7 highs. The resale price on these in StockX is above retail. I, I can see like few hundreds, few hundred above retail or nearly double the price. If you really like this colorway, I think the resale price is not that bad. If you can still grab a pair for re uh, retail, then I think it's still a reasonable cop because I think the quality and being the first Jordan 7 lows to release is reasonable to get it for retail. And that's it for the sneaker. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you haven't pressed the notification bell yet, please do so so you'll get notified every time I have a new video. And again, it's your boy C Genesis and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.